Hi fifth graders! Um, first of all, I miss you all so much and I hope you found some awesome ways to enjoy your spring break even though we were all cooped up inside. Um, I just wanted to make a short little video here to kind of introduce how we're going to do distance learning. So I'm going to walk you through our slideshow um, and kind of tell you how we're going to be starting out the next couple weeks um, and then I'll answer some questions that I think you guys might have and then you guys can get started. Okay, so a few things about our slide is you'll see in that top left hand corner there's going to be a gold star and that means that you have to complete everything on the slide. Um, but then for our good morning slides you'll see that each day we're going to do a morning meeting activity that's going to be on Flipgrid or Seesaw or Google Form. Um, a lot of them are going to be on Flipgrid just so that we can kind of see each other and get to check in with each other. Um, so you're going to click on like the green Flipgrid um, little icon there and then that'll bring you to our Flipgrid class page and that'll look something like this. Okay so this is what it looks like if you open up Flipgrid right away and you'll see at the bottom there also has the question um, that you're going to answer. So it says what is one thing you did over spring break? Um, then you, if you scroll down a little bit more you're going to see some different responses from our classmates and then you'll see that big green um, circle with the plus sign in it and that's how you can add um, in your Flipgrid video response. So it's super important that you make sure to do the Flipgrid because that's how we're going to mark attendance every day. Um, before I show you the rest of our slideshow, let me kind of walk you through what our first week is going to look like. So for our first week, you can see we're going to start out kind of slower. So every single day, we're still going to do that class meeting, that morning meeting. But then every day, um, we're going to rotate between one subject. So for today, for Monday, it'll be math. On Tuesday, we will do writing. Wednesday, we'll have a reading assignment. Thursday's word study, and then Friday, we'll go back to math. And then you'll see that you just have one um, day of specials, so art on Monday, music, which um, might just be your band on Seesaw on Tuesday. Wednesday, you'll have a gym assignment, and then on Thursday, you will have something for science. So for the math slide, you can see that you're going to click on where it says review this document of our six vocab words and pictures for unit five. And we're actually jumping ahead to unit five and then we're going to come back and do unit four after. Um, so just as always, we're going to start out with your vocab. Um, there is a Quizlet on that link as well. Um, so once you've reviewed the vocab words, you can take the Google Form quiz. So if you just click on that little quiz icon, um, you won't be able to open up other tabs during the quiz. So just make sure that you're ready for it um, before you decide to click on that. For the art tab, um, you'll see that you are going to create a portrait, which is a work of art about someone or a group of people, or a self-portrait, which is a work of art of yourself using art materials of your choice. Um, you're going to post that on CESA if you'd like to, just so that we can check it out. So then you'll see the slide that says guided reading. And really, this is just like a read to self time that we would either be doing at school or for homework. So um, we're just asking that you read for 25 minutes, and it can be a book on Epic. It could be a book that you have already at home. Maybe you want to hop on Rouse Kids and read. Um, kind of whatever type of materials that you can find to read at home for 25 minutes is perfect. Um, remember too, if you're trying to use a site and it doesn't seem to be loading and you've tried to reload it a couple times, maybe just move on and try either a different site or come back to it later. So then that's all we actually have for um, our first day. So then you're going to see that assignment checklist slide and you can just move over those check boxes once you finish something kind of so that you can keep track of it and then I can keep track of it as well. Um, but you'll see it's just those four things for today. And then you're done. So please make sure that you are turning this into Google Classroom. Once you turn it in um, every day, that just lets me know that it's you're good to go and that I can look over all of your work and that you have um, completed everything that you need to complete. So that's pretty much how um, our days are going to look, especially this week. Um, just over a few questions that I thought you guys might have. Um, we will not be doing any homework logs, um, at least during this first part of our distance learning. Um, just you completing all of the assignments that we need you to complete at home is perfect. Um, uh, another question might be, what if you were to complete the Flipgrid or your work um, later at night? So like after I went to bed and I maybe marked you absent because I didn't see anything from you. Um, if you do it later, don't worry about it. Um, I can always just email Papa Bridge the next day and say, hey, so-and-so did complete their work. It was just after I had looked at everyone's. 
Um, and then if you miss something, I'll just reach out to you and just check in, making sure that everything is making sense and that you're able to log into everything um, so we can connect that way as well. Um, last question that I know that some of you might ask if you can work ahead on things. Um, for now, it's not going to be very easy for us to let you work ahead, um, especially for things like math. We are actually just going to give you one slide at a time of work just so that we can make sure that everyone is keeping on the same pace. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Make sure that if you have any questions throughout this whole process or if something's confusing or if you just want to email me and tell me how much you miss me, um, feel free to do that. I'm always going to be around and I will make sure to be checking our Google Classroom and my email um, all the time throughout the day. So we're going to get started and I miss you guys.